Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 21H. A case that was called and paralleled, was told of, in the New York newspapers, April 30th, 1931. Here, too, the surroundings are blankness. In the usual way the story was told, as an unrelated thing, perhaps, somewhere nearby, brooding over a crystal globe, or some other concentration device, was the origin of a series of misfortunes. Early in April, 1931, Valentine Minder, of Hapodge, Long Island, New York, was suffering with what was said to be mastoiditis. His eight children were stricken with what was said to be measles, and then, one after another, in a period of eight days, the eight children were taken ill with mastoiditis, and were removed to hospital. The circumstance, because of which these cases were called and paralleled, is that mastoiditis was supposed to be not contagious. These cases, which, if unparalleled, were mysterious, were a culmination of a series of misfortunes. About two years before, Minder's home had burned down. Then came his illness, the loss of vitality, the loss of his job, and a state of destitution. Toward the end of 1930, Mrs. Minder was stricken with an indefinable illness, and became an invalid. So far as was known, mastoiditis is not contagious.